Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing a six by eight story in my six by eight album using the new collection that is releasing today. I am a part of a YouTube blog hop or YouTube hop with Tracy Reed and our design team. And she is releasing two collections for this holiday season. One is called All Is Bright. No, All Is Calm, All Is Bright, yeah. So it's kind of like the pun on the, the song. So. The all is calm one, I will link it down below. The collection is a little bit more of a neutral uh, uh, palette, uh, more neutral, like just softer tones in a nice neutral palette. And then all is bright is definitely your colorful version of a collection. They're still very different. Like I don't think this, um, you know, like snowflake pattern, for instance, is in that collection, like in softer tones. So this one, you know what I mean? So it's still two different collection. She definitely outdid herself for these. So there's two hops going on, one for the All Is Calm collection and one for the All Is Bright. And I am obviously, you're here with All Is Bright. So six by eight size, I already have the backing of it. I have printed my things off to Office Depot. So I love the snowflake sheet. I just kind of copy and pasted it to print full page on an eight by 10 and that's, there's a little bit of a border, but I made it like that. And then I took all of the snowflake elements um, from the collection, repeated it, and then altered the size a lot to fill up this whole page. So we're gonna fussy cut this out. These are all of my embellishments. And then for this one, we are gonna punch a hole. That's like four, I think this is four and a half circle. It's a die cut. So that this paper will be on here with the hole. Here are my two tinier sheets and we're gonna have all these snowflakes kind of textured around it for a nice effect. So let's get started. And I hope you will continue to kind of hop along this YouTube hop. I will leave everyone listed after me down below. Thank you for joining us and let's get started. So let's get started by cutting out the circle. This is a die cut circle from a pack from Joann's and it's four and a half inches. So I just didn't want to put it through my silhouette. So I just take the time to put it on the paper, trace it, and then cut it out with my, um, what are they, the precision scissors. And then I take the time to cut out every single one of those snowflakes. Once again, fussy cutting does not bother me. Um, I find it a little bit relaxing at the end of my day from all the work and all the mom things. Um, to just sit and do that while I watch a show or listen to a book. So I do take the time to do all of that off camera. I won't <laughs> let you watch all of it um, in order to get there. So don't get me wrong. Um, you will see very shortly that once I start cutting them out and putting them as a wreath around this circle, that to me, the all the snowflakes get lost on said so snowflake paper. So thankfully, I did print out other pattern papers in the collection because I used this pink plaid next to cut out that four and a half inch circle. See, all that was like too busy and I was like, this isn't gonna work. But oh, but I did take an idea and just say, let me get my one inch punch and let me see if I can just add some circles and kind of have like a hot pink ring that will divide the ones I cut out versus the pattern paper and see how I align them out there too. And it still was just so busy that I was like, nope, we're going to save this video. <laughs> Let's cut this out over here. Um, and I just wanted to keep this footage in there so that you see that sometimes the creative process, um, this happens uh, where every I, my thought in my head when I'm looking at these digitally, I was like, oh my God, this snowflake paper. And then I'll make more snowflakes and have it all dimensional. It'll look so cute. Um, backfires. <laughs> And that's okay. So like I said, I did print out this paper actually just to take a strip from it for another layout I have um, coming down the road uh, with this collection. And so I'll just use, I have plenty still for a strip or so. So cutting it out on this will not affect um, my future planning for things. Um, but don't get me wrong. I have wished Santa or wish asked for Santa, um, a color printer. I think I'm leaning towards getting one of the Epson Eco Tanks that are photo quality and I know it makes it photo quality because it has the classic red blue yellow black but it also has a well for the gray ink um so I think that's what I'm going to do just so I don't have to always go to office depot and for my own personal photo printing needs because sometimes I send out bulk orders to Walgreens or persnickety so here's already it cut out with some of the snowflakes gathered around it and I love this so much better so I'm just kind of thinking to myself too um 
if it was what should I like raise up on on fun foam and so I do decide to do like a first layer of them flat and then the second layer of any of the smaller sized ones will be pop will be popped up on fun foam and then you saw me cut that one photo too as a square and left the other one like a two by three and I do think I'm going to raise up that second photo as a square up as well so that was just me like auditioning everything so this is when I'm just getting started with all of the sticking down of the pretty things so like I said, I have just went around first with the larger sort of ones I cut out and just did the first like layer around the said circle. And then I will go in with some of the, it's fun foam, I think I got it from Walmart where one side is sticky versus the other side that is um, just the foam. So I everything here is used double-sided tape. I might have to go in and use some liquid glue, but I just didn't want anything to warp just yet. Um, Cause I also have envisioned um, some adding of glitter is my thought to make them like really sparkly and cute <laughs> so in that preset th notion i'm just like okay gotta use as much like uh, double-sided tape as possible so that it doesn't wrinkle um, when we're done now the one inch circles that i did punch out to use as a barrier i will just keep on the side i don't know if I'm, i didn't use them in this layout uh, but i will keep them because every little bit um, i will you know for this collection it is just so bright and so cute so I hope you're joining along in our YouTube hop there are a few other ladies on the design team that are using the this is bright collection and then there's a group of us doing the other collection called all is calm so both are going on today and this collection releases so I will leave all the links uh, for these collections down below as well so if you watched my recent haul, you know that I got a few new like glitter paints to use for December daily and or anything else because I do actually like my glitter paints. And unfortunately, they just they just kind of dry up easily. So this one is all like silver and opal-y colored glitter chunks and it's in different sizes. So then once it has a clear like paint to it, so once it was still wet, you see me kind of shaking on just an opal white um glitter on top of it just to make it kind of look frosted was my idea with it and i definitely accomplished that it is so cute and 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 almost looking like snow on the snowflakes it was a nice effect that's what i always like to do these collections when you print them can be rather flat so you have to think of creative ways to add texture so i like adding trim and ribbon and definitely some glitter paint and mixed media will always do the trick okay everyone that wraps up this layout how adorable is this and that glitter with this paint ended up being such a nice touch it just looks like frost all around the edges and i just made sure to put a little dab of the glitter like on every little snowflake on top even that one turned out really good too love it okay so it's always good to do it like a wreath for holiday times, I always feel. So two little black and white pictures. These are from last year and I just love the way it turns out. I hope you continue on with this YouTube hop, YouTube hop with the rest of the Tracy Reed design team. We're all doing layouts with the All Is Bright collection or hop over to the All Is Calm collection and you'll see more inspiration there as well. Thank you for joining me. Please consider subscribing if you are new here. Give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, bye. Thank you.